Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome. The doctor is in and is apparently having trouble with his video feed. Give me just a moment, folks. And I'm the tired brogy, a.k.a. Navalin, his common niffler. All right, give me a moment here. Where's the... Did you lose audio as well? No, there was no audio. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Okay, here we go. Don't know why I decided to conk out on us like that, but here we are. I think that, oh goodness, that is kind of loud. Let me turn this down just a bit.
think you can take me? You're done! Don't forget me! <laughs> Bless you. Okay, I still need to turn it down a bit, because... Uh... There. Every day's a training day. I'm also... Okay. System... Options. Okay, that should be. Uh oh, the sky's getting a little dark. Oh, there's a canvas airdrop all the way over there. Uh, I wish this was the other game that Monolith Soft had worked on. We'll have to climb up here to exit the Great Falls area. If you're having I could a hard just... time, Mimi, I'll be more than happy to carry you. Okay, that was a little weird. Not gonna lie. Welcome in, Shadow Knight. How are you? Thank you for joining. How is thy day going? Don't ask me why I decided to go King James on you all of a sudden. Tired. I feel like that is a mood overall for many of us. Gallivanter Buckley. I won't let any of you die. Yeah, maybe if we all pitch in. Taking care of stuff in Persona 5 Royal. <laughs> what, uh... Which, uh... If it's not... Okay, hold on. I'm trying to think of how do I can word this without it being spoilers for people who still have somehow not played that game. Which number palace? Oh, museum. Okay. Okay, it's still very loud for me, so I'm going to turn this down a bit more, even. There. Okay. This should be our part of attack. This should be our part of attack. Let's see here. Pretty close to wrapping that one up, too. Okay, very good.
Power plan. I use my thinking muscles for this one. I've got an idea. Thank you for the resub, Reeve. How are you today? Okay, I'm gonna... but surviving yeah that's that's a mood mm, I think I have an idea so I throw in Noah Then I throw in Senna. You're in for it now. And now, bring it home with Uni. doing. Oh, there's another husk over there. Can I make it to that husk from here? Yes, I can. Okay, down we go. Down. Thinking hits. Duty. Where's? Huh. Okay. Moving on. So, fun fact, apparently someone was able to figure out, uh, sorry, someone was, was able to recognize that Monolith Soft worked on both this and Tears of the Kingdom because of the fact that the uh, pathfinding AI for your assist characters is the same in both games. Their movement patterns are too similar, basically. Shall we deal with this? Eyes over here! Appreciate it! You hit the bad wind! 
Makes sense they'd be working on them at the same time. Yeah. Well, I have a theory that that's part of what take, took uh, Tears of the Kingdom to so long to come out was they they were focusing so much on Xenoblade Three. Because you know Xenoblade Three got, got released early. Hmm. Better give it a good once over. Ah! What's with the ah, Reeve? Just because. Oh, you're thinking it was the depths? Yeah, that's a, decent, right? that's a decent possibility that the depths was what took it so long. I still find it hard to believe that they did that without any uh, input from having played Elden Ring at all. Stick to the plan? What plan? There is no plan. It's non-existent. Because she said to stick to the plan. I said, what plan? You have to understand. Make the plan. Execute the plan. Expect the plan to go off the rails. Throw away the plan. They were capable of getting this and all the DLC out by the time of <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, that's very true. And welcome in, Rocky. Thank you for redeeming first. How are you? Rocky the Hero Pod! It's weather's changing here, so trying to cope with that. But doing good otherwise. Hmm. Plus he had to deal with his wife relapsing. This random condition. Now we're ready to make some waves. This is true, however, for the most part. All right, which direction am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go that way. Why am I not going that way? I don't know. Well, I guess it's because I got distracted by something over here. But what was it? It was me, of course. You're you're not over in this direction in the game. Or so I mean. If you're in the game, I want to know. And then you're going to have to tell me how to join you, because holy cow, this world is much more interesting than Rochester. Unlike Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is basically modern-day Rochester. Happy Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, we're not quite there yet. Yeah, in the U.S., Thanksgiving is in November. Is it Thanksgiving where you live? Eyes over here. Perfect timing. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, happy Thanksgiving to you too, Rocky. Mind if I ask what you're thankful for this year? Butterfly, 
Did you have any special food for this year? Or what does your family do for Thanksgiving? That was spectacular. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. <laughs> You're a little ruined. Oops, they found us. Think Pokemon Sun and Moon Games collection. Okay. Good going, Uni. Hey, that's a really long series. I hope you think for so. Recruiting Isur tonight? Possibly. I don't know where to go to recruit <laughs> Isur, though. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and Alexandria? Yeah, I mean, I don't really know where and how to go to recruit them. <coughs> Excuse me. Must take beverage sips. Don't tell me you're coming down with what I have. No, just a little something went down the wrong tube, I think. Yes, sure, it should be back at his colony. I don't remember where that is. I've it, I've is slept that? since then. That's Keves Castle, all right. First time seeing it. Yeah. Same level of elaborate as Castle of Agnes. Can also see great sword on left. Are we going through with this? No. I see it's far too risky now. The area will be under strict guard. But down slope, we could go via the forest. Mac to Wildwood, huh? Doesn't sound too bad to me. Oh, there's oh. Ethel. Where? Hell, never been this far in before. Me neither. The last time I had an audience with the Queen, she had come in person to the war front. Is it really a catchphrase if it's just something I have to say while in character? Commander Ethel, Fornis Forward, Army's Colony 4. Reporting in as ordered, Your Majesty. It has been some time. Hasn't it? Mom, I'm elated to find you in good stead, Your Majesty. That you would grace us with your presence is an honor above my station. We can dispense with the stiff preambles, Ethel. N. Mom. Nanny. N. Consul N. That's him. N. The head honcho of Cavesi Consuls himself. The Golden Consul. So what the spark is going on? What is that? The Annihilator. The latest weapon in our military arsenal. It utilizes breakthroughs in application of the Annihilation Effect. You've harnessed it.
not only is its power without equal, it has another exquisite benefit. Let me show you. What? You mean, right here and now? Indeed. This will be its finest hour. The Orion Mountains. A terrible shame. Her Majesty has a soft spot for them. Please do not think ill of me. Is that Infinity? Welcome in. How are you today? Thank you for joining. How'd you find the channel? Yeah, not too bad. I am doing well, thank you. What? What? What was that? Just thunder, innit? Brighter than any lightning I've ever seen. Still ringing in ears. Where did the light come from? No idea. But... This can't be good. Just a super weapon capable of mass destruction. Be, is it really a super weapon if it's not capable of mass destruction? How many Xenoblade Chronicles games are there? This is the last. Well, what incredible power! Its effective range has no discernible limit whatsoever. What are you? I'm saying an attack like the one you just witnessed can be delivered anywhere. So you mean to use this weapon against Agnes? Uh, if you're to use this, then what about the clocks? Who said anything about using it on Agnes? Mom? The next target will be this. All right, uh, since we're loading into the other part. Uh, oh. Thank you for the wow, Rocky. OK, so now we've got it. Well, I'm glad to hear that that's how you found the channel, uh, Zed. So hope you are going to be sticking around. Uh, also, since we've got a newbie in the chat, I'm going to give one of my regulars who's here a shout out. So if you like content similar to mine, a good streamer to follow is Revolution Live. He was last uh, playing Golden Sun on his channel. Uh, what is it? You just finished that one up. So was there anything that you've got planned next, Reef? So Colony 4 is in definite trouble now. Stony cram it. Where are they cramming it? Hopefully not where the sun jumped or shine. Well, the sun ain't shining here. Ah, uh, the Donkey Kong DLC for Mario plus Rabbids. Okay, all right. Should be uh, the wildwood soon. Golden we best be on the lookout. Golden oh, Sun yeah. is a RPG that was released on the Game Boy Advance back in the day. It's a mad Oopa. Can anyone tell me why the Oopa is mad? because Mayuri's not here. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a cute emote. Yes, uh, where? Eyes over here. Appreciate you. I do miss the fact that you could tell which enemies would be aggroed versus which ones would not in previous titles. Well, it used to be that uh, if they were sight aggroed, there would be a little eye icon on their health bars. Uh, if they were sound aggroed, there'd be a little audio icon, and then there's the ether aggroed ones, which would only start attacking you if you use an ether attack nearby them while in battle. We don't know, because they stopped giving us the icons. They're apparently sight aggroed, though. Death Stranding 2 is coming out? Yes, I saw that! I am... Really Watch looking forward off, to that one. Mind you don't slip. Yeah. <laughs> he says, falling flat on his ass himself. Oh yeah, bloody hilarious. You're always taking the mick out of me, Noah. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, for... don't come crying if you fall. You seem like you're a million miles away. Lot on your mind? Yeah. Kinda. Uh. Uh, Mio! Ah, uh, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I just lost my footing for a second. I I'm okay. For now, I'm okay. For now? Okay. Everything's not fine. Are you not feeling a hundred percent? Ah, no, nothing like that. I'm totally fine, promise. Like I said, I just miss my footing. Hmm. If you start feeling worse, just say. I don't want you hiding it. Mm. You're a kind man, aren't you? I, I I'm just uh, being polite. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Strike! Strike! So what was on your mind, earlier? Yeah, that light. I was wondering if it had anything to do with us. You think maybe... could it have been something that Mobius did? Huh? We know that they're hunting us. Mm. Tyon, you told us before that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah, I did say that. After that, nobody said so, but we were all thinking it. The war between Agnes and Kevez and the consoles. 
Or rather, Mobius. They must be connected somehow. It could be that... all the fighting... It might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. And to them, Ouroboros only spelled trouble. Since we keep wrecking their flame clocks and all, they must really hate us messing with their stuff, I guess. So we're one big thorn in their side? Hmm. It does stand to reason that's why we're their targets. But it doesn't tell us anything about why our colonies fight. Any theories? Not as yet. <laughs> but I figure... <laughs> Isn't discovering that our real objective here, right? Thank you, Rocky. If we seek out the city, maybe we'll find answers. One way to know. <laughs> we should be able Let's to rest here. Okay, I'm gonna check you. Oh, hi. Who this, and what you want? We're here to pick up a stone and make a register. This shil-shil thing, yes? Here is stone for you. Stone of Lolica is yellow. Lolica find that relationship with humans is very important. One yellow not on pebble. This game open world? Kind of? It's, um... Uh, yes and no. It, it's more open zone, so, like, there's big giant areas for you to explore but there's also loading screens between different the uh, different giant areas so it's not open world in the truest sense but it, it's pretty close stone very important ruggy scruggy probably lost his sloppy knock on well whatever please take this to shield shield got it thanks we have some new names registered Welcome, friends. Let's see what you have. Uh, I, is there a way I can find out what's... Oh, okay. So it's going to be... Increases E to defense. Hmm. I have played Prey 2017. That is a fantastic game. A feels almost a shame that it doesn't appear like they're going to make a sequel to it. All right, thank you for the Lyric Reeve. Excited for future visits. All right, uh, trying to talk to Lolica here. The Ryan Mountains blow away! Mountains already in my old state, no thanks to Annihilation, but even more scruffy heap now. Not only sad, but scary too. Yeah, Prey 2017 is the for really a great game. All right, I'm gonna okay, good as new. real quick clean the uniforms. Okay, much as I hate to say it, I am going to have to take a small break a bit earlier than I expected. So I will be back in a few minutes. Uh, if you are not subscribed, you will enjoy some ads. Otherwise, you'll enjoy the uh, the Be Right Back screen.
Okay, we are back. Apologies for the wait. And thank you for the high brief. Okay, there we are. Uh, let's see. Do we have any? Nope, we do not. Okay. Next All right, on the so list we... is. Because we've got a campsite here. I think I should be okay to go get the side characters added. Let me just make sure. What ending did I get in Prey 2017? Uh, I've played it through about one and three quarters times. So I got the good human ending once. I did not get the alien ending, however. Let's see if I can craft any gems first. Okay. I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Not there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to hold off on steel protection. Right, what do we have here? Uh, did I change my Discord picture? Yes, I did. My Discord picture is now my uh, my Halloween one. I always darken my background around this time of year. Uh, for consistency's sake, I leave it the same on my Twitch channel unless I'm playing a different game that I think is thematically in line with October. So, like, uh, last year I did Luigi's Mansion and I had the black theme there. All right, let's see. I already have that. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll go ahead and craft these two at least. Finished. Come on, I wanna use it quick. Doom 3 for October, okay. I would play a spooky game this year, it's just that I'm Finished. trying to get through on, Xenoblade and so I'm I don't want to go an entire month do, without think? playing it since I'm having to limit my streaming days to Sundays for now. Maybe I'll eventually go back to Wednesdays, but we will see. Okay. So I got the gems done. Yeah. I have played through Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. I've played like a little bit of the classic Doom. I never Whoa, played through right Doom here. 3, however. How is that one? I know I've heard some 
mixed thoughts on that one. Don't think you'll have enough time for a spooky game this month. Mario Wonder will probably be out when you finish the Donkey Kong DLC. Yeah, that's a mood. <laughs> I've got... I got like three different games releasing this month between Mario Wonder Spider-Man 2 and uh, the Metal Gear Solid Volume 1 collection. Time for a nice big breakfast. Okay. All right, so where do I need to go in order to get to Isurd? You said Colony Lambda, was it? Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, what? Wait. Has a search party been sent out to look for Shijima? Well, I can say my squad hasn't heard anything about it, that's for sure. There's a missing offseer. Hello. Oh, we got some more interesting info. Huh. <laughs> Grr. Supply drop. <sighs> so inconvenient not having a proper canteen. Just how snuffing long are we gonna have to go without one? Come on. You know, it's odd. The flame clock isn't here anymore, but I still have my hammock. There's a lot of us in our tenth term now, Commander Isard included. There isn't a lot of time left to consider what has to be done. That is a pickle, ain't it? You got the one where you worked with Alex to save the space station. I did save the space station. Uh, I also forgot that I got the ending where I got to the escape pod. I think I got, I think I might've got there early. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw Shijima using the tunnels. The tunnels, what's he gonna want it in there for? I suppose he might have some business out at the other end of them. Got it all memorized. I, I can't remember. What was the name of that weapon th that makes the the gloopy platforms? Is it the glue gun? I think it's the glue gun. Wrong, Commander. Hmm. Oh, it's you guys. The Ferranus was heavily damaged during the battle. Do you remember? Uh, yes. I, I'd used the glue gun to get to the uh, get to the escape pod. That was uh, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> As a result, some of our remote-administrated autolevs aren't responding to transmitted instructions. I'm not 100% on the techno babble, but that doesn't sound good. Indeed. I've sent some of our tech guys over, so we'll know soon enough. Do you really need the machines? Are you thinking there might be another battle? It's nothing like that, I assure you. Colony Lambda is now focused on ether mining, and... What was that? We just received word of a tunnel collapse. What? I'll be there ASAP. Are the troops assembled? They're all in position. Then go on ahead. Sorry about this, after you took the trouble to come all the way here. Commander, please let us lend a hand. Only if you're sure. But your help will be welcome. Roger that.
Let's hurry into the tunnels. Okay, well, thank you for dropping by, Rocky. Glad to have you here, as always. Hope to see you again. I will not be online next week. Uh, just FYI, I've got some... Got kind of a special occasion going on uh, that precludes me from streaming. But I will be back the week following. So, hope to see you then. Hello. What's this then? Okay. I wanted to make sure I was I following the hero quest. Do I want to? Hmm. I'm gonna help the spot alley go. Perfect time. Ow. So what does he do? Guarantees a Bravo rating when a hero completes an order. Hmm. Right, right, because the heroes don't stop off it. Hold on. One second. Where's the button? Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, thoughts what I will be playing after Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and the DLC. That entirely depends on whether I have my old mic back by then. Yeah. Depending on whether or not I have my old mic back, I might do another visual novel stream. Here I go. And it's time for Minako because it's spooky season. Well, I can't do that this month though. That's true. Because first of all, I got to get you caught up. <laughs> Yes, I am So. Great. Check out what I've got in mind. I have a response to every move. Naturally, leave it to me. I'm not enough. Well, I can see what an older one looks like. Really young Brock. What was that? It's a, this is a young frog. I hate to see what an older one looks like. Oh, no. There's uh, some older ones that you can see in uh, the first Xenoblade. Crash. Crash. Hmm. 
Okay. It guarantees a bravo, but that means I am prevented from getting anything higher than that. Kill mode. <laughs> Counting on you to remember this act of kindness? No, I am not. As a matter of fact, you'll probably try to eat me next time I come across here. But the not buying coins are worth it. So what's the yellow thing? Oh, that. That is a um, high something or other. The I, high I, ether? The high ether, yeah. I get the feeling that I've already opened this one now. gone this way before. Actually, I wonder if there's a way I can take a shortcut. Let's take a look. Alright, so that's where we actually need to go, so... Mm. Wait, there's a quest over there. That's a secret area. And this quest is unfortunately a bit uh, out of my pay grade right now. Oh, uh, is that the one where I got that weird mob of like random people? Yeah, that's the one. Oh. Best to walk up from there. Yeah, that's what I thought. You are. It's night time already. Yeah. Is it night time already? No, it's daytime. Can't you tell? Nighttime. Daytime. 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 What you doing? Time. Ah, no thanks. Got Xbox. We've been found. Eyes over here. Perfect time. Too much what I expected. 
say we were moving in sync. Right, Tile? What's the hammer? What hammer? Right there. Oh, that's not a hammer, that's a pick. It just means I can climb this wall. Oh. And on top of this wall... They're on us. Orders? ...is this guy. Uh oh I'm sorry. Here. Perfect And that question mark is part of Alexander's crew. If you take them out fighting against her later, it won't be as difficult. This here it sounds like a doorknob. One good turn deserves another. Oh, Alexandria's. Okay. Hey, Christonium, good to see you. How have you been? Uh, yeah, I will redeem that as soon as I can get my timer going and I can start. Um, Tell me I have to follow it too. Uh, no, you, you don't have to sing. Oh. Been well? Ah, uh, give me a break. We all worked hard for that. Right, that's good to hear that you've been well. I haven't seen you around in a while. And I get that, because I've had my own share of not popping in other people's streams, because big changes in my life happened several months back, so... Almost six months ago. Mm-hmm, yeah. No. It has been six months. Yeah. Well, almost six months exactly, but... No, no, it has been six months exactly. No, it has not been six months exactly. Yes, it has. Oh, that's right. I, I, I forgot I had to drive up here. Silly bean. Oh, my plumage is everywhere. You haven't caught your stream since before I got married? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let me get my timer going. Uh, let's see. Timer, timer, timer. I'll install. I don't want an iOS update right now, thank you. Be gone! Stop it! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna pierogi on me, okay. Yeah. Timer starts. Oh dear. Oh, my battery, that's not good. Why did I not charge it before I started this? Okay. Every day's a training day. Oh wait. If I'm on low battery, that means I might have to if I'm on low battery, I might have to end of the stream early because my mic is going through these things. Oops. Yep, yep, I did. That's on me. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's get this sing mode going so that way we can have that uh, starting. Starting five minute timer now. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Here we are then. Oh, no, no. Hush, the little baby, so don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird goes sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. So if I break bird's neck, I get wing wing? If that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. 
be alive. If that looking glass gets broke, Mom's gonna buy you a get Billy goat. Nice little baby, don't you see? Mom's gonna need a little therapy. <laughs> So Good night. The tunnel wall should have been stabilized. What happened? Pausing. Because I don't sing during cutscenes. Hey, look over there. It's collapsed. Ah, we got monsters. They must have been living in a place with elevated ether concentration, then found their way in here. We better get there quick. But there's no direct path there. We'll have to go around. You've got Lebnuses, don't you? Wanted to make short work of these things. But we need permission from each squad's leader to activate a Lebnus. Oh, come the snuff on. This is an emergency. You stay here on standby. There might be another clap, so we'll go on alone. But Commander! Ah. Execute a partial evacuation once the tunnel mouth is secured. Coordinate with the medic court and treat any wounded. Now, these are special orders for which I take full accountability. Inform the other troops. Yes, sir. Now, all of you. We'll be fine, Commander. You can count on us. Understood. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. We want to reach the cave-in. Okay. Uh, resuming song timer. Uh, just a moment. I'm trying to remember what. Now. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard the discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. How often at night, when the heavens are bright, to the light of the glittering stars, have I stood there amazed, and asked as I gazed, I look, I made a bridge. It took me like two seconds. Oh, <laughs> I'm on the range. <laughs> Where the deer and the antelope play Where oh, seldom is heard a discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day Then give me a land where the bright diamond sand Flows leisurely down to the stream Where the graceful white swan goes gliding along Like a maid in a heavenly dream Oh, I would not exchange my old home on the range Where the deer and the antelope play or seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day. I know that your powers of retention are as wet as a warthog's backside, but thick as you are, pay attention. My words are a matter of pride. It's clear from your vacant expressions. The lights are not all on upstairs. But we're talking kings and successions. Even you can't be caught unawares. So prepare for the harms and the armus. Be prepared for sensational news. A shining new era is tiptoeing nearer. And where do we feature? Just listen to teacher. I know it sounds sordid, but you'll be rewarded when at last I am given my dues. An injustice deliciously squared. Be prepared. Yeah, be prepared. For what? For the death of the king. Why, you said? No, fool, we're gonna kill him, Simba, too. Yeah, it's a king. Idiots, there will be a king! I will be king! Stick with me, and you'll never grow hungry again! It's great that we'll soon be connected to a king who'll be all time adored. 
But of course, quid pro quo, you're expected to take certain duties on board. The future is littered with prizes, and though I'm the main addressee, the point that I must emphasize is, you won't get a sniff without me! So prepare for the coup of the century! Be prepared for the murkiest scam! Meticulous planning, tenacity spanning, decades of denial is simply why I'll be king undisputed, respected, saluted, and seen for the wonder I am! Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Yes, our teeth and ambitions are bared. Be prepared. <laughs> and there's the timer. Good thing we found this. Nice timing. It's been a while since I've had a sing, sing mode redeemed on me. Thank you for that, Chris. Appreciate it. All right. it's okay. Just don't redeem sing mode while redeeming charge, while redeeming it's speak like thing. Beatrice. Well, this won't be any trouble. Uh, yeah, it's good times. Well, I, I've never had that happen. I've just had charge with Beatrice. Oh, I think we have another cool version of the while doing charge. Something a bit meatier. So what is the lifestone three? Uh, it means that I've got the gym formula for the lifestone three that I can actually craft once I find a campsite. Decent, right? I don't remember what lifestone three does though. Well, husk. Once we're off the next elevator, we oh, hello. A brain. And thank you for the hello there, Reef. Souls, a shell of his former self. Or is he? It's just something not right. Well, we've been like, found. I see I 
big help indeed. Show me sky! One good turn deserves another. I got excited there for a moment because I saw the name of this enemy and it said Drifter Scorpox and I thought it was I thought it said Scorpinox which like oh neat they re referenced Beast Wars turns out no I just misread it whoa Alright, I'm gonna see if I can't get uh, Interlink V th level 3 going. Very nice. Wait a minute, didn't we just go up the elevator? I thought... Or, oh, no, we... It was a different elevator. Okay, never mind. If Edna Mode could only see this right now. No scops! No problem. Can anyone hear me? We're here to help! Commander, we're safe. No casualties here. 
Looks like there weren't too many working this deep inside. I'm glad everyone... I didn't think there'd be oh. a cave in here, considering the geology, and with this level of structural support. I suppose the cave wall was weak enough for the monsters lurking there to break through. When the excavation uncovered an area of concentrated deposits, the monsters that lived there must have sensed the chance. The ether find is good news, but for now, let's get everyone out. There might be more monsters. We better keep an eye out. Noted. We're close to the site of the cave in. Let's pick up the pace. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Okay, I was like, that looked nothing like where the path I'd opened. Turns out I'd walked ahead a bit. Mine? Not to worry, just stick to the plan. They've been absorbing the ether. Stand your guard. Fuck the blow. Eyes over here. Perfect time. Here. Go. Uppercut. Slap out. Couldn't keep them in check. Giant blow. Hammer. Raise your weight. Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh dear. Okay. Uh
I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen right now. Somewhat cleaned up. I guess riding a Levness meant they avoided any serious injuries. A little silver lining to a great big cloud. Glad to hear. Tyon? No, all of you. Thanks for your assistance. You saved us. On the contrary, Commander. We were just following your orders. Right. We could only react so fast thanks to your quick thinking. That's about as much as I can do. The people of Colony Lambda, and you as well, all knew what needed to be done. And due to that, the rescue was a success. I can't thank you enough. You've even managed to secure a nearby ether deposit. I'm a bit jealous. Yes. Actually, our troops reported a harvestable ether source recently. And with enough resources in the bank, perhaps the colony could have some peace of mind. I hear a fair few colonies are lacking ether. Everyone knows that we're nothing without it. Everyone in Lambda knows to be prepared to do anything in their power rather than lose it. By the way, how are your travels? Our... travels? Sometimes I'm envious of folk like you. Strong-willed and forging ahead. Well, we're not that... Actually, I think being a commander is a pretty big deal in its own way, eh? <laughs> Smoldering Kamaravi and the famed Silvercoat certainly are. But I'm not that kind of lone pioneering type. I think most people feel the same. I know my own weakness best of anyone. The day we lost Nimue and you, Tyon, I abandoned all thought. The Consul sensed my weakness, knew I'd pass my responsibility to another, and took merciless advantage of it. Okay, Reeve, I have to ask. Did they get, like, uh, I'm trying to remember wit what year this was? Hold on. Okay, yeah. D did they go back to 2002 and pick up Hayden Christensen to play Isurd here? Because the acting sounds straight out of the whole, I don't like sand. It's coarse. It's irritating. Gets everywhere. Just just for Isert. Just for Isert. Everyone else sounds good, but Isert just sounds off to me. <laughs> oh. That's one thing I learned from losing. 
Ironically, if I hadn't experienced that loss, I... I'd never have come to understand this feeling in me. Sorry, no one needs to hear all that. Ah, yes. I owe you all, don't I? Would you come to the commander's office later? I'll be waiting. Goodness, it's been 20 plus years since that movie came out. We should have Feel old feet. yet? Good thing we found this. Good thing we found this. Okay, so now who's the other hero that I need to or oh, we're not quite done. I gotta go back to speak to Isher in the commander's office. Okay. Uh, okay, that's an elevator. All right. Fast travel time. Uh, here, let's just go straight to Colony Lambda. It's going to be faster. So, I wanted to thank you all somehow. We didn't lend a hand just so you'd give us something in return. Too right. We don't expect any thanks. That may be so, but... Oh yeah, did the thing with the autolevs get sorted out? I only just got a report saying they don't know why they won't work. After seeing that cave-in, I want to investigate thoroughly. An autolev is vital for that investigation. If we can't bring them back here, they can't be of any use to us. Here it comes. I'm not planning on getting you involved for every little thing. I already can't thank you enough for your help with the cave-in. Excuse me, Commander. I have a report about the autonomous levnesses. Any new developments? Yes, sir. It seems they're operational. I see. They wanted you to take a look and judge if they can be used or not, sir. Roger that. Well, I'm sorry for bringing you all out here. I have to go. I'd like to come along. What do you mean? Oh, good call. I need some closure on this. We won't get in the way. Is that okay? As you wish. Then follow me. Did he just tell me he loved me? Because I seem to recall hearing that as you wish means I love you. <clears throat> You're looking busy. The commander was good enough to tell us about the work we have ahead of us. Gotta do what we gotta do. Hey, it's good to look to the future. Things are really looking up now. We have all the legend resources from the tunnels. Colony Lambda has never been stronger. Hmm. Where's the mess hall? Oh, they don't have one here. That's right. Game at Pure Bluffs. How do I get over there? Okay, right there. Hmm. I guess it's closer than I thought. Never mind.
I'm not getting myself involved in that conflict again. I've already helped out once. They can settle their own differences now. The Autolevs are stationed in the cave at the Pier Bluffs. Yeah, but... That was weird. We don't exactly have what I'd call an open schedule. Sorry, I know this is selfish. Nah, mate, I don't blame you. I may owe Commander Izzard a great debt, but he's also someone I just want to help even if I didn't owe him. I think every soldier in Lambda probably feels the same. It sounds nice, doesn't it? Feeling an attachment to your colony, to your commander. Yeah, definitely. <gasps> what happened? Hey, is everything okay? <sighs> commander! The Levnesses, they started moving all of a sudden. What? And then they just came for us. But any autonomous unit should have safeguards to stop it attacking us. <laughs> that came from right up ahead. Huh. Lucky thing we tagged along, eh? Please, stay back, Commander. We can take it. What are you saying, man? I'm fighting. It'd be a lousy example for the troops if I just stood around and stared. Then let's go. Hey, is that? He is what? Should we go in? Eh. What kind of it seems trouble. Do we have a choice? Got to fight you're these you're armadillos. Which raises an interesting question. How did it get the name armadillo? So close.
200 even, nice. Uni and Tyons oh, or Burroughs form. The belly but a dent in it.
Concentrate on their power sources. Where are they? Finish it up now! Tie on! Right. Brilliant work, Tyon. Commander Izzard! over. Clever. Feels like all I do is ask you to clean up our messes. Thanks again. If there's anything I can do. But why did they go berserk? It might have been set so they couldn't tell between friend and foe once restarted. You think so? So you're saying that forcing them to restart overwrote the previous instructions? Oh, man. I'll have engineering give me the details. We need them in running order, but they can be dangerous tools, so care is paramount. <coughs> Regardless, <coughs> let me know if there's any way I can thank you. We told you before, we didn't do this for any reward. You won't fly. I can't rest easy knowing I'm this deep in someone else's debt. If you're going to insist, do we need anything, guys? Uh, let me think. All right, I've got something. Whatever it is, just say the word. We've put you out of your way. I want you to fight by our side once more. Say that again. I want you to see for yourself that the path I'm walking is the right one, Commander. Tyon. Has this been bothering you? I understand. My position as commander means I probably won't be able to accompany you at all times. But I pledge myself and Colony Lambda to you, Tyon. No, to all of you. Call me anytime you need me. I'll come running no matter what. Thank you very much, Commander. I better brush up on my skills to keep up with you all. Colony Lambda will have to keep up with its current developments too. We can help you with stuff like that, mate. Now look here, I can't ask that of you. Look, we're friends now. Nothing wrong with asking your friends for help. Huh. <laughs> we're friends, you say. You're incredibly trusting, you know that. What's that supposed to mean? We're just helping. I don't mean anything bad by it. If I need... Please, call help. us anytime. If I need help, I'll ask for you. I'm a lucky man to have friends like you, Tyon. I will endeavor to assist you. Alright, so who... Tyon naturally inherits this class. Okay. Where are we in the rankings? Oh. Wrong thing, that's the heroes. I need the characters. Uh, let's see... Class... Okay, we're getting close to... them all being... Oh, oh Uni's already made it to rank 10 of hers. Tyon's kind of... Oh, thank you for dropping by, Digital. 
glad to see you here. Long Thank live you. the lurkers. <laughs> As he said, long live the lurkers. All right, and again, if you guys are not following Digital Xerophim, let's see here. I'm going to give a shout out to both his channels here. Let's see here. Okay, so Digital Xerophim's channel, uh, he was last playing Diablo 4, and at Jordan's Jargon, he was playing Resident Evil 4. Uh, Jordan's Jargon is more focused on the reviewing aspect of the games, so if you will go give both of those channels a follow, if you are not already following. All right, and let's continue here. Tyon's taking a bit of time to reach level 10, rank 10 in this class. Alright. Alright, who's the other hero I need to recruit? Is anyone still in chat who can tell me? Because if not, I'm just going to head towards the plot. Alexandria. Okay, perfect. Where do I need to go to get her? You know that question mark from earlier? Oh, the... The one that I am in no way, shape, or form equipped to take down because those are like level 40 critters and I'm at, uh... Level 30. That question mark. No, not the critters. The one that's up on the other end of this bridge, right? Should just be a soldier. I could have sworn that there was a number of them over there. I'm gonna double check. I don't care. Or just... Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, it's up around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, over here. We got multiple soldiers here. Yeah, so I'm supposed to take down this level 40 party with my level 30 some odd people here. That's what I thought. I mean, I could go to a... I, I could go to a campsite and try to level up using my excess experience points, but I don't want to over level. That was spectacular. And I was the MVP. You're all thinking it. Forgot there'd be more than one. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Um, next chapter. All right. So, yeah, we have over here. travel to this camp. On with the story. Yep. I just hope I don't lose my uh, audio and my uh, microphone before we can continue. Everyone, get some rest. Because it said low battery. But, okay. Clean clothes. Personal hygiene is every soldier's duty. 
I know I saw a gem I could craft here earlier. All right, wait. Let me... So let's see, four. Uh, which one was it? It was Life Bearer. Oh, okay, I need Caterpile Syrup in order to get to that. Gotcha. Well, Steel Protection, that's something I can grab at least. Finished. Come on, I want to use it quick. I should do it, you think? Okay, and we're going to discuss some gathered information real quick. There's the missing Offseer. This might get complicated. So, Lambda's Offseer Shijima has apparently gone missing. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Agnes Offseer is often working pairs, right? Yes, I think most Agnian colonies make use of similar arrangements. Are both of them missing, then? All we've heard is that the one named Shiji must land headed into the tunnels. By now, he might have come out of the Raybell Tableland in the Faunus region. Something might have happened to make him wander off like that. We should look for him. Then we best hurry. The longer we wait, the more difficult the search is likely to be. This might get complicated. I hear Colony Lambda's having a difficult time now that they can't use the canteen. Yeah, we did kind of tear up the place. Hmm. But if there's anything we can do, we could cook something up for them. That's only going to help them in the short term. Then what? Don't tell me you want to build them a whole new canteen. That's a surprisingly reasonable idea, Lance. Oh, well then, I'll just cobble one together then, shall I? We couldn't do the labor ourselves, but Lambda's a big colony. It can't hurt to float the idea. I imagine talking to the captain of the manufacturing unit would be a good place to start. Sounds like a plan. Let's get going. Yes, the sooner this gets resolved, the better. I just wanted to confirm. It looks like our marks don't disappear even after the flame clocks are smashed. Yeah, we're only free from the tyranny of the flames. It's true, a mark once made cannot be erased. And once my tenth term ends, I'll be gone after all. <sighs> it's not all doom and gloom though, yeah? Being free from the clocks, that's already something. Things feel different somehow. I know what you mean, it feels less anxious, like it can breathe a little easier. Exactly, and ultimately everyone has to choose their actions for themselves. Freedom from the flame clocks expands one's options immeasurably. I think that's huge. Yeah, everyone's gotta die sometime. At least this way they get to live the good life first. The good life? What do you understand by that? Huh? Well, I mean, like, eating gr good grub and stuff, yeah? I don't know what I expected asking you. Oi, you got a problem. <laughs> the good life, though. I could go for a bit of that. Yeah, me too. Did you want your headphones back? No. Oh, okay. Break time's over. Because we're heading to plot. Er, Change of plan. There we go. This way. I like the more ambient sound that they've got here right now. The low music, or rather the lack of music and just the pitter patter of the raindrops. Is that supposed to be 
without music here? Wait. Senna, how'd you get ahead of us? Uh, wonder if there's another way somewhere. Another way? Oh, you mean like this big <gasps> giant ramp here? There's a container. Yeah, I know. It's over this way. All right. It's open. Man, those Mobius mooks, they make my feathers stand on end. Ending people's lives like it doesn't matter. Oh, what a sick joke. Their word for people like that? Know what Nopon say? No idea. Tell us. Super villain pon. Riku, what does that mean then? It'd be the extreme bad guy. Ah, oh, I think I get it. Mama? What's up, Manana? Ben, I know we're in Mio and friends, supervillain Pon. You're labeling us? Labeling. Because friends used to end lives also. <sighs> that not make them supervillain Pon? I mean, it's not like we ever had a choice or anything. It was them or us. So when no choice, not fall under definition then. None of us ever fought because we wanted to. It's just how it worked. How people worked. And the world. So, world is super villain pon. Huh? Since it make everyone do nasty things. World is bad guy. The world is... bad. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for? I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the snark, just tell me. The end point of it is suicide. Say what? If you don't want to hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution then is to erase the self, to die. See, pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? The moon. Think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're watching? Of course not. Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. And yet, we're the ones that give meaning to it. We say, bit dim tonight, or looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's... The power of Ouroboros. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. So we don't become supervillains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Right? Interesting. This is our first time here, isn't it? He said the word humans. Not harms. Despite the fact that Kevis is clearly the Shulk I side of the equation. Too, huh? 
Whereas Agnes is the Rex side of the equation, you'd think that someone from Agnes would be more inclined to use humans rather than Homs. Wonder if it's just It would only be right to give them the proper repose. Everyone is human here regardless of differences. So wait, does that mean that even Uni being high Antia is considered human? Or that So what? Uh, I think my brain just broke. Hey, you sure we're going the right way, guys? But Nathans aren't human. Mm, what the heck? Well, it's a path, at least. Looks like it's going to be a real pain getting through here. True, but we don't have the luxury of loitering. Well, I don't see any other road to take, so let's just get this over with. Maybe it's a matter of biological compatibility. Duty, look out! Faster than a speeding arrow. Natural selection. I was wondering how apparently. I guess it's in case we die and have to come back after regrouping later. So we'd know where to where to go. Bless you. Let's see here. Let's see, sixty-five. I think I can do this. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. Bye. 
Devastación. I think if I do this... And then if I do this... If I do that... Mystery Agnes Ninjas, I just now realize the name of their group. The rest of them should be sh short work. We just want to pass through. We're not looking for trouble. Come on, guys. What's your problem? Juniper, Imogen's at her limit. She can't keep going. Huh? Spark! And we could have had their life, too. So close. <gasps> That's very unfortunate. We'll have to retreat, then. What was all that about? Weirdos. Noah, what's wrong? I was just thinking. About that archer, they seem quite the formidable opponent, to be sure. That's true, but there was something else about them. Say, you don't think... Those soldiers' flame clocks. They might be getting low. Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking of offering your assistance. It's hard to put into words, but... Something's off. What, and you think we have time to be traipsing around on this whim of yours? It really bothers you? Yeah. Give it up, Tyon. Once I was like this, there's no stopping him. Oh, why do I bother? Besides, Noah's intuition's usually pretty on the mark. We could just take a look. A, a tiny little peek? Fine. I can see no amount of reasoning is going to dissuade you. If you want a tiny little peek, then just send Senna in. She's the tiniest. Not counting the Nop on, of course. However, if it turns out to be nothing, we head straight back and move on. Acceptable? That's fine. Okay, let's move. We should be able to catch up to them if we follow their tracks. <laughs> Oh, it's a side quest. You know okay. how folks are when their flame clock runs low. They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yeah, I know. But I can't just turn a blind eye. Oh, goody. More footprints. Okay. Let me real quick. Class. Uh, so close. Hero quests, all hero quests have their marker colored yellow. Gotcha.
getting very close. You itching to get wrecked? Eyes over here. Appreciate you. Over four. Butterfly blade. Uh, hey, bigger. Why? Big impact. No love lost. It means there were no holes in my strategy. Huh. We seem to have been discovered. Eyes over here! Appreciate it! Here! Butterfly! Oh, Swing! Swing! Go! Crash! Go! 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 Blow down! Get to the Hazy it. figure! Butterfly! No luck lost! Crash down! We've got them pinned down! Yeah, and I'm the guy with the stones. Together, we're the guy and the girl with the gold stones. Uh, what? What? Oh, so, um, what? not very many people outside of, like, my workplace and like other friends know, but I have gallstones. Is that something we wanted to share with everyone here? Hold on a second. Okay. This is leading up to something. So I said to them, yeah, my cold water's a little high. Why? Because it's stoned. Oh my gosh. Bitch! So there was a reason. And then now you guys know. You need to go sit on the pot. <laughs> Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where those soldiers pass through. Through here? But how? Hmm. Doesn't look easily traversable, does it? Yeah, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. We could always take a detour. Look, this way. Now, so this is how we get the, the zip line thing. Yeah. Thanks, Tyon. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Nimble little so-and-so sliding down here on a rope. I wonder if they <coughs> teach me to do that. One would hope. Should be time for dinner soon, right? All right, I know that they're going to attack me, so I might as well just... We will trample you. You heard her. You look great! Eyes over here! Appreciate it! Please keep them in check! Hang on, bitch! We'll be fine! Just don't be a clod! We may just be No luck left! I'll have to get on your left! You come here! I got something for you! Cheers, you're together! Enemy's broken away from me. Come here, I got something for you. Too easy. Come after me, and that's what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. Oh, you think you're all that so real? Yes. Eyes over here. Appreciate it. Over yeah. four. No, 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 Sailor Gobo. I'm the girl with the gall. Anyone getting that feeling of deja vu? Hey, what is with these gorillas coming down from the sky like this, eh? 
I mean, goggles. I don't know what a gorilla is. Never seen one. Broke character for a bit there. You didn't charge off on your own. All right, it's over. Colony here? That's right. This is an abandoned colony. Please listen to us. We didn't come here to fight you. Mm. We can free you from your flame clock. Free us? You don't have much time left on yours, do you? We can help you with that, so if you just... Stop attacking you? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll hear you out. Uh, thank you. Please, come in. It's a trap. They're still wary of us. Can't let our guard down. We have some new names registered. Colony Tau. Not a lot of people around. Yeah. It's quite unlike any other colony. I've seen a few colonies with dwindling flame clocks before, but this one is especially bizarre. It's like they're not trying to survive here at all. Do you get that impression? Back when I was stationed at Lambda, I'd heard rumors about Colony Tau. What did they say? That deep in the forest, there's a colony with some very peculiar customs and traditions. This is my first time seeing it in reality, but I never expected it to be so run down. Did you have any dealings with it? <coughs> None at all. This is just hearsay from Commander Izzard. Anyway, we should hurry. Let's smash the flame clock and free everyone. It being an abandoned colony, we are continually starved of sufficient life sources. Wait. Are you the commander? That's right. Sorry, I failed to tell you before. I am Juniper, and it's my job to lead Colony Tau. If that's so, then surely you must know who we are. I'm afraid I know nothing. Ah. Oh. We have no need of such information. Juniper told us we'd welcome you in, whoever you might turn out to be. So, that's the rule. We don't ask questions. But you attacked us back there. Our scouts told us about some monsters in the forest they've never seen before. So, we sent them out on a hunt. But then they bumped into you en route. They must have figured it'd be more efficient to get you out of the way first. So, contrary to our plan, we were made to retreat. Oh yeah? What about your consul? Where are they hiding? I told you, this is an abandoned colony. Our consul rarely visits us. But they do visit you. such a strange situation. All the more reason to get you out of this predicament. I think you guys are getting the wrong end of the stick here. It's true. We aren't afraid of Colony Tau's flame clock running out. All it means is the end of our days gazing at our ever-diminishing supply. But you could die! Uh-huh. As if we just let you waltz in and break our flame clock. We all have to perish someday. 
If our lives should expire, then we'll sink into silence, darkness, oblivion. Pay him no heed. He is cute, but he is cuckoo, cuckoo. Life is sad. Prison is sad. Life in prison is very, very sad. Anybody get in that kind of vibe? We'll return to the earth. <sighs> yes, but you can't just. The land will take us, and we will simply be. That's how it is at Colony Tau. No one will ever think of us, and yet here we are. Slowly but surely, we are withering. We don't always find the nutrition that we need to live. If Colony Tau cannot accumulate the vital flames it needs, then it proves only that we were too weak. And in nature, the weak are destined to perish. The logic would dictate that nature is pushing you to become stronger. If we set you free, you won't have to worry about all this crap. We neither worry nor fear for what may come to pass. We've already lost so many of our friends and allies. And every time we return to their bodies to the Earth, such will be our fate. What's the point of fearing the inevitable? We know we're gonna die. What's wrong with us living the way we always have? But how do you live without hope? It will spell the end of the story that our predecessors weaved for generations. I would argue that it feels a little melancholy. In that sense, if we were to be freed from the flame clock, then... Juniper! Bad news! Tell me. The monsters are coming straight for the colony, and they already took one of us down. No. They came all the way here. Well, that's just too bad, but hey, that's life for you. Monsters attack, you die. That's fate. Why bother fighting it? A nihilistic nut we'll job. Join you. We have some new names registered. Nihilistic nut job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Juniper, we need orders. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. Juniper, what are you? Ask us later. We'll back you up. Thank you. I'll fight to the best of my ability as well. Here we go.
<laughs> Thank you, Reeve. Alright. And now we get to see what Juniper's ability is. And during chain attack, boost damage dealt to low HP enemies by 70%. Okay. Alright, what do you do? Wind shows increased damage ratio by 50 percentage points. Okay. Guillaume's okay. He's still alive. Thank the flames. I'm so glad we made it in time. I'm so glad. 
Again, accept my thanks. We couldn't have done this without you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I suppose it's strange of me to talk about the laws of nature when I fear losing my friends. Not at all. Honestly, that seems like the most natural thing of all. Ella, she's infecting you. Run away. When you told me that you would release us from the flame clock, I thought that if you really were telling the truth, it would make life easier. But at the same time, I began to hate the fact that I was looking for a way out. Looking up at our clock, seeing the life ebbing away, I'd already accepted my fate. The nihilistic nut job is infecting him with her nonsense. And letting go of that status quo, wretched though it was, after so long, I was scared of what might happen if we did. Juniper. Noah, your words at the time seemed so appealing to me. I could not destroy the collective efforts that became the colony and everything it represents with my own two hands. But then you said you would destroy it for us. We'd be guilt-free. If that isn't a feeling, then what is? You must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. That's why you invited us, isn't it? Even now, I'm not afraid of dying. But I hated the idea of losing those I hold dear. When I saw my friend lying there, I remembered what you told me, and for a brief moment, I felt the grip of fear. I felt so weak and helpless, yet at the same time, I didn't want to let go of my dear friend. So I must have closed myself off. I stopped thinking, closed my eyes, and covered my ears. Perhaps I was simply waiting for the inevitable release. Even so, we have to keep thinking. That's right. Even if there are things we'd rather not see, we still need to look. That's I mean echo in a nutshell. And breaking out of your shell, scrambling in desperation for a way to escape despair. That's not what I call being weak. You've defended this place for so long. Why? Because you're strong. And once you're no longer shackled by the rules of the flame clock, you can accept a different reality. You can become stronger still. I know it. We can. You can. It won't be easy, far from it. But we'll help you. Juniper, it's your call. We've made it this far thanks to you. Yes, I suppose so. If... There is a possibility that you can release us from the clock, then please. And if not, it's not like anything's changed. <laughs> Very true. If you can't break it, I can live with that too. Nothing changes without a reason, without a cause. Perhaps this event will teach me to see things in a new light. Without love, the truth cannot be seen. Here we go! Yeah, great, we've pissed off Agnes even more. I see acceptance is actually surprisingly easy when it comes down to it. I think it probably is, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if this seems rude, but could I ask another favor of you? Sure. I'd like to learn much more of the world, become a stronger individual. To that end, is there any chance I could accompany you? What do you say, guys? Based on your overall skill level, I'd say no snuffing way. We could certainly do with someone of Juniper's caliber. Nani. It'll be reassuring to have you on board. You're very welcome to join. Is your colony gonna be okay, though? Can they get on without you? Colony Tau needs to undergo change, too. We need to extend our knowledge and grow. So I'd like you to take me on a trip. Somewhere far away. 
and show me something new. A journey of discovery, huh? I guess that's another thing we need in order to grow. Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out, too. Could be a good lesson. It's time to breathe new life into our colony. Let us break free from the chains that once bound us. I guess I'm still hanging about, though. Can't have us all gallivanting about the place. Your consul really doesn't bother to show up, huh? Even after we broke the flame clock? You'd think they'd know. Better this way, if you ask me. Still, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they'll make trouble for you. If something happens, you tell us immediately, okay? Sure, can do. We'll be counting on you. Well, we don't have all day. I think it's about time we made tracks, no? You're right. Time to move, then. Well, then, everyone? <coughs> ah, don't worry about us. You know we can handle ourselves. We'll prove that Colony Tau can be so much more. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Off you go, then. Skedaddle. The colony's staying right here, waiting for your return. Yep, rope sliding. It's a pleasure. Noah gets the stalker ability. Deals low damage to individual targets, but excels at managing aggro. Work with allies to make good use of the art follow-up fields. This is a traversal skill that Juniper taught the party. It lets you grind on ropes set up on the field, allowing you to descend smoothly and quickly from high places. With the art of flow taught to you by Juniper, you can cancel arts into other arts without using fusion arts. Successfully canceling fills the chain gauge slightly. Sure. Nice. Okay. Some new names registered. Well, it's been lovely chatting with you. Perhaps we can talk again some other time. Now, get rid of this one, and I think I hmm. at your service. Yeah, so it's kind of a we have mixed some bag. Registered. Juniper probably has the worst class in the game. Not surprising, considering Juniper is also probably the worst hero I've come across. Like, honestly. Like, so that's the state of affairs. So, the whole... Oh, we don't care if you help us with our flame clock or not. We are resigned to our fate. Monsters appear. Oh, we're not resigned to our fate. Trust me, there's worse. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. I'm just saying, Juniper's the worst I've met so far. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold tight. <sighs> All right, next time on Ratchet and Clank. Might as well claim this. These are worth a bit, right? What would it be doing here? Hello, Ascended Card. Welcome in. Glad to have you here. Uh, yes, I have played Xenoblade 1 and 2. As a matter of fact, uh, give me just a moment here. Gonna use this opportunity to shill the YouTube channel here. If you've, uh, if you're just now finding the channel, and you'd like to see the other streams I've done on the Xenoblade Chronicles One and Two entries, as well as uh, other games that I've streamed. Uh, you can go check that out. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining. How'd you find the channel? Oh, I need to check and see whether my classes are. Let's see, heroes. No, not heroes. Characters. Okay. 
So, let's see, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. All right, everybody's due for a change, sweet. Okay, let's see. Oh, has everyone, everyone has. Everyone's gotten max rank with the default, sweet. Okay, so do I want to, now the question is, Okay, so you can be a thaumaturge. You can be full metal jaguar. You can be Strategos. You can be the war medic. You can be the Yum Smith. I'll knock him down. And you. Much as I hate to say it, you're going to have to be the Guardian Commander because I oh, don't have you. enough defenders right now. Darn it. Okay, which means I should probably switch out for Eno. All right, so have you looked at the Yumsmith costume for the male, female, and male characters? I have not. Let me see here. Who's got Yumsmith ability? Um. Okay, I'm gonna check that out now. Okay, everyone gets... Alright. Clothing, there we are. There's the base clothing. That's actually kind of cool looking on him. Uh, Swordfighter Zephyr, Medic Gunner, Nah. Tactician, Meh. Heavy Guard, no. Military Uniform, that's not bad. Okay, I guess he gets stuck with a base clothing until I fully unlock that class. Okay. That's actually not bad either. Let's see, sword fighter, Zephyr, medic gunner, tactician. That's not bad on her. Heavy guard, ugh. Ogre. It's not great, but it's not bad either. Military uniform. I like that one on her, honestly. But I'm gonna give her this outfit here. I'm Batman. Okay, so where was I? Uh, sword fighter. She's actually not bad looking in the coat. Zephyr, also not bad. Tactician, that's okay. Heavy guard, no. Ogre, not bad, but... Military uniform, not bad. Now, she looks like she stepped out of Evangelion. But I'm gonna go with the base clothing again. Tie on. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, let's see, sword fighter, Zephyr... Medic Gunner, Tactician, Heavy Guard, Ogre, Military Uniform, Tie on Color 2. Alright, I'm gonna give him his class's base clothing. Lance. No, jacket's no good on him. Zephyr's. Eh. Medic Gunner, no. Tactician, no. Heavy Guard. Ogre. Not terrible. Military uniform. Oh, so it's basically his normal outfit, but with sleeves. Okay. And lands color two. No. Right. 
Right. That was kind of neat. Uh, kind of fits. All right, and you... What in God's name is this outfit? Oh, it's bananas. Okay, gotcha. Mm. Not bad. Also not bad. That one looks a little weird on her. Also a little weird. That's normal. Military uniform's not bad. Okay, we're gonna make her the Yumsmith outfit. And the male characters have one for Riku, spiky hair and all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, once I unlock them with the others, we'll see how that goes then. Alright, so with that being said, I'm gonna... You want me to lead? Who is... I'll take point. Leave it to me. Yeah. I'm gonna try as Uni, because I don't think I can not be an attacker. <sighs> I hate playing Defender class. What's going on here? I'm not... I'm honestly not sure I want to know. Carried the plan out to the letter. Pretty sure the Gavesi ones have Riku. Um, oh, well, let's. Over there. If we slid along that. Ready or not? There's an awful lot of husks down there. I suppose it's for a reason. This gets the blood pumping, eh? We've so got to do that again. Hmm? What's that? Oh, looks like we can go on from here. What is the point of these snuffing wings if I don't use them, eh? I know it's window dressing. It's it's like <sighs> only the uh, ones with the longer wings have any capability of using them. Like what's her name? I can't remember. All of a sudden, Melia's not quite sister. Time for a climb. Why can't I remember her name? 
Tyrea, yeah, that's the one. Thank you. I kept wanting to say Linnea, and I'm like, no, that's not it. That's someone... Uh, that had to be one of the Machina. Uh. Alright, up we go. Plot, 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 plot! I see that. I will have to come back for that, because... Frankly, I don't trust that I'm strong enough to take care of that. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. We can do this. I can feel it in my bones. That's, oh, nice. Swoop. That's how you pull off a win. Yeah. See if we can keep this up. Okay, what do we have here? What, what the snuff? Where did this come from? Careful, here it comes. Standard quest, imminent illusion. I'll draw them. I can't support. No, guess what? You won't get away. Let me give you a second. It disappeared. Uh, what just happened? It's like they were being pursued, but I've never seen a Levinus like that before. Could it be a new model? I don't think we'll get very far just theorizing about it. Let's hurry on ahead. Fair enough, but we should stay on our toes until we leave the woodland at least. Okay. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Kevez and Agnes are both fully mobilized. We'll have to pick them off one at a time. Is that what I think it is? Whoa! Got a rare dude all right here. We've been spotted. The meanest Asper sings this song. Do da, do da. That mean as as far as possible as long all the do da day. 
Gonna fight all night, gonna fight all day. What is that emote? I can't make that out. A devil emote. Oh, okay. You're all thinking it. Better not spill any of this. Hard to see it on this purple here. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna try to avoid <laughs> Try to avoid the birds. Oh, so I did have to go and deal with Juniper before heading this way, apparently. Unless there's another way around that doesn't require the use of the zip line. Or is it really a zip line? No, it's a grind rail. That's what it is. Juniper was required. Of course she was. Well, I'm glad I didn't make the mistake of trying to progress the plot. Don't you hate that when there's like a side quest that is required for the main plot to progress? It's like, just make it part of the main plot. Come on. Everyone is emergency. What's up, Manana? Manana cannot. Manana cannot go on like this one extra step. We have been walking since Colony Tower, I suppose. If we can find a good place, we'll set up camp, okay? Meh, plan need more dinner. You can be strong a little longer, can't you, huh? Just a little? Fine. But Manana, very, very starving today. We need make dinner soon, and everyone must help cook. Sure, we all be happy to chip in, right guys? Imagine the game would have walled you off. Oh, you mean to where... Like... Let's use this spot to rest. We need... You must continue this side quest, otherwise these... Or have something like Noah saying, No, we need to turn around. We've got something to do over there. Something like that. I'm just gonna lie here, and you can't stop me. Something like that. Okay, so... We're gonna clean clothes. Okay, good as new. Um... Cook. Could make the brisky breezy toasty. Could even make the stringy weeny veggie like clack like the claddy? The claddy? I don't know. All these were similar as well for the climbing skill. Hmm. Not all though. Alright, actually I'm gonna hold off on that and make sure that they don't cook something while I'm resting. I just saw you stuffing your cheeks. The rations should have been divided equally. Manana walked more than you used to today. Tommy was rumbly grumbly. Not much we can do, though. Not now. Manana, look, we've still got a ways to go. So you're gonna have to get used to rationing stuff out, okay? There's an invisible snuffer that's coming in and eating our grub.
Oi! They're taking our food away! Getting a deja vu. What's wrong? What did you say was gone? I think she was yelling about food. What? No way. For real. For real? French sure did not just put elsewhere and forget. Nah, -uh. I'm positive it was right here. Indeed, I checked it myself before I turned in. Don't tell me someone scoffed the whole lot. Ah, oh, no way. Nah. Nah, nah, we'll leave no plate unpolished. Oh no. That awful, false accusation. Not even Manana ever stooped to such crude, vulgar behavior. All right, all right, we get it. Just chill out already. Manana refused to become frosty. This is now a matter of honor and dignity, for starters. I know Manana was feeling a bit peckish, but she can't have eaten up the lot. So who then? Really, it wasn't Riku. That guy barely eats at all, right? Indeed. Riku practices ancient Nopon art of restraint. Hey, check it. Manana, do not. A feather? But what kind? Riku employed Manana. I found tracks here. Nobody's blaming you here. These footprints. I think they're. Turkey. Mystery solved then. A turkin feather. So they raided our supplies. Lands can stop apology. Honor and dignity of Manana left in tatters for a vile and faceless accusation. Come on, please lighten up already. All accusations aside, we're really strapped for food. Guess we'll have to go foraging. I can go. Luckily, this area is pretty bountiful all in all, so we might not be too hard-pressed. Well, better get to it. Right. Okay. Anyway, that clearly too much eat. Manana is bottomless pit. Meh meh? What? What had Riku know? Manana is dainty eater. Not denying. Lies and deceit. On this day of days, Manana will have retribution! <sighs> Nanny. Looks like we've got ourselves a runner. Slipped out from the castle. Is this okay? He could get in touch with Ouroboros. Won't that impact our previous arrangements? Not to worry. If he does make contact, they'll come. <laughs> really? Ouroboros are simply like that. Hmm. Well, if you say so, we can probably take your word. Right, O? Hmm, certainly. As you say, P, we probably can take his word. Since we're already out here gathering food, we could think about building up a reserve of stuff that'll keep for a while. That's a good idea. What would that be? Mushrooms, nuts, that sort of thing? I'm on it. <laughs> How appropriate that you're wearing Manana's outfit. Hmm? By the way, when the Turkins got on our cat, did no one seriously notice? No, not even slightly. Not even a tiny little bit. Riku was busy sawing logs all last night. I'm sorry, you guys. He'd walked a lot yesterday. I'm sure you were just super pooped. You'd never miss something as obvious as Turkin footsteps on a good day, Mimi. I think it's safe to say we were all partially guilty of negligence this time. Indeed. However, we should also reconsider our storage arrangements for the future. Ah, oh, well, it's water under the bridge now. No point talking locks after the Arden's already bolted, am I right? 
Let's just get his searching already. Very well. Hey, is that? An Anlude. It's hard to fill up on mushrooms alone. I say we honestly some meat as well. Woohoo! I love me some hunter gathering. I'm glad she said she loved her some hunter gathering because I thought she was going to say something completely different that could have been taken a completely different way in any other context. And lewd meat is fucking amazing. It looked like they came well, straight from Monster Hunter. Today, then. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. All right. That being said, I think. It is time for me to wrap things up for tonight, because I am Just part of the protocol, isn't it? starting to hit a bit of a wall here. Oh, Santa looks like she came straight from Monster Hunter. Uh, okay, I thought you meant the Anlude. Uh, that makes sense. All right, let's see who is... All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Goodbye. So have a good night, y'all. Remember, I will not be streaming next week. I've got a prior engagement that day, so uh, I will see you guys two weeks from now. In the meantime, this is Dr. Novell signing out. Tired pierogi's already tapped out, so y'all have a good one. <laughs>